welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christina. Today I'm making carnitas in my Dutch oven. I'm going to cover them and bake them low and slow until they're pork tender. I'm ready to get started. Take my onion that I already cut up and put it on the bottom of my pan. And now I have my pork that I'm going to season with my seasoning here. Before I pour it in, I'm going to just mix it all well together with my finger and pour it over. I'm just going to rub this all over my roast. Today I chose a pork, pork roast. You could also use a pork shoulder. They'll both turn out just fine. Moving on, I'm going to add one and a half cups of chicken stock. I washed my limes and my orange with soap and water. Okay, now I'm moving on to zesting my orange. Okay, I'm all set with my fresh juice. If you don't have fresh oranges and limes at home, it's okay to substitute with a bottled. Now I'm going to add my fresh juice This will mix nicely with the chicken broth. Here's a little close-up of everything. It's all set. Now I'm gonna cover it, put it in my oven that I've preheated already to 275, and I will take a look at it in four hours. All right, I'm at four hours. Time to see how tender my pork is. Look at that, it's just falling apart. So it's all ready for shredding. Even though the onion is very, very soft, I like to keep it in with the meat, just for added flavor. And lastly, I like to strain the juice that's left over from the meat and use it to add moisture back to the meat when I'm reheating it. This recipe makes a nice amount of shredded pork. I plan to use this meat to make corn tortilla tacos topped with chopped onion and fresh cilantro along with taquitos. And lastly, I'm going to use this meat to make Cubano sandwiches. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much. See you next time.